Our oldest child, Aaron, is deaf and has mild cerebral palsy. And so I like to start all of my programs by teaching you a sign. I know sign language. This is a bridge building, feel good kind of sign. You know how sometimes you live with people or work with people that get on your every last nerve? You want to tell them what you think of them, but you don't because you're not from New York. <laughs> I am. So's Kathy. This is a little known fact. People from every other state, you have this thing in your brain that's like a circuit breaker. Sometimes when you think something, before it actually heads on out of your face, it goes through this circuit breaker. Sometimes that breaker goes off and says, don't say that. And so you don't. New Yorkers are not equipped with this safety feature. <laughs> Anything I think, you hear. All right, so you're all going to do this sign with me. You take your left hand. You put it up in front of your face like you're reading a book. Fabulous. You take your right hand, you put it on your chin, you lay it on your left hand. That is the sign for good. This is the sign for mourning. <laughs> I kid you not. This is morning, this is noon, and this is night. I come from New York. That is not what it means there. <laughs> My very first time seeing this sign was when I took my daughter to school. Her first day of school, there were two teachers at the front of the room, and they were wishing each other good morning. And I thought, are they Italian? <laughs> I'm Irish. I thought we were doing signs, so I did mine, and they asked me to leave. <laughs> For two days, I was really in a crappy mood, and you want to know, I was angry. I was really angry. You want to know who I was most angry with? No, my friend Diana. Because <laughs> if it had not been for Diana, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have felt those things. Shame on her for putting me in that situation. And then I started to think, you know, here you have a fan who thinks that you are so fabulous that you could actually win. She just didn't, she thought I could win the show. And how wonderful is that? I watched the show that year and of course couldn't believe who they picked. <laughs> and they got to the end of the show and they took it off the air after that season. And they said they took it off the air because they didn't find a star. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> So I like to do sing-alongs because that makes you feel like you're taking part in this. Isn't that fun? So I just choose to do a song that I've written in German. <laughs> All right, this is my first favorite song ever. And if you don't know it, there's one part I know you're going to know, so everybody's going to do it with me. My first favorite song ever was Runaway, Del Shannon. Yes, it was recorded in 1960. I was eight years old. I loved this song. I sent my mother to the store. I couldn't drive. I sent her to get me the 45. I know you guys know what that means. <laughs> so... She came home. She had a little bag. I knew she had a 45 in it. You know what I'm saying? It was just the right size. As she came in the door, she said, they didn't have run away, so I got you something else. You know what she ended up getting? Merv Griffin. <laughs> La Charanga. <laughs> oh, God. I have never forgiven her for that.